So we're at the Razor event. I, I'm ducking and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a lapel mic. It is because we're going to get some hands-on footage with the phone at some point. However, for right now, I also didn't decide on bringing the shotgun mic because it just wasn't useful for the situation apart from like this one shot right here. The event starts in 50 minutes. Uh, we're going to stand around outside. They have the most subtle, you know what, let's, screw it, let's grab this. They have the most subtle signage I've ever seen from Razer. You'd think they'd have like some chroma going on. No, nope, they just got, there it is. That right there. So props to them on subtlety. That's not a usual strong point of theirs. But yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll be in in about an hour. This is so close. We'll be in in about an hour and we'll see how that goes. So we have, well, technically the door's open in just under a minute. So we'll see. People are gathering, kind of. I, I still expected more, if I'm completely honest. How the, oh, a member of staff just looked out and was like, what the hell is going on? Um, so we'll be going in in about a minute, apparently, according to their invitation. I guess we'll find out. There's a person who does not look best pleased at me filming right now with a greenish thing. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get in there. Uh, talk, well, we won't talk razor, we'll look razor. And I just realized that what best needs fixing. That's better. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, we'll be in in a second, we'll see how this goes. We've brought in the talent, we've done the design, we've done the, the engineering, and what we're going to be presenting today, in a single line, is the ultimate in mobile entertainment. Woo! So, it's a smartphone, and we're calling it the Razor Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ultramotion is a unique adaptive refresh technology that synchronizes the GPU signals with the display. They're massive speakers. They're much bigger. They sound better than any of the phones out there. Why? Because they're not just loud, but we've also got them each with a dedicated amp. It's just insane. And of course, as I mentioned, powered by Dolby Atmos. Truly great. Now, it's not just the speakers on the phone that sounds great. What about the headphones? Well, it's true audiophile headphone sound. <clears throat> it's got a 24-bit DAC. Just think about it, a 24-bit DAC certified by THX. So that's what we've done with phone. We've put in all the bells and whistles. It's got an incredible display, and it's got an insane audio performance. How does the new Razer phone perform. Well, it's got insane performance. <laughs> right? It's got truly insane performance. Well, we use the flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. Now, this is that CPU which is used by all the flagship phones today. But of course, it's not just the CPU that is important. We've got to look at the RAM. So, in looking at the RAM, we decided to look at the entire field of flagship phones out there. The Samsung S8 Plus does a little better with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the new Razer phone comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Because I see a couple of Apple laptops in the, in the crowd today, just FYI, it's got the same amount of RAM as the MacBook Pro, by the way. <laughs> right in the palm of the hand. So it's got a great CPU. It's got an insane amount of RAM. So you can have multiple, multiple um, applications running at the same time. The Samsung S8 Plus has taken it to its next level at 3,500 milliamp hours. That's a pretty big battery. But for us, we've got the largest battery in a flagship phone this generation. 4,000 miliampers. But let's see what the battery benchmarks are. You know, we're ticking all the boxes over here, right? So we've got it on Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus. And this is the first phone in the world to be shipping this together with it. Alright? So what does that mean? 
in these in a single hour, bear in mind, in a single hour, that means 3,400 milliamp hours, this charges from 0 to 85%. No way. That's super fast. <laughs> We've made sure we ticked off every single box when we designed our very first flagship phone. So what kind of camera does it have? Now the rear camera, it's got dual 12 megapixel cameras. It's got a wide angle and a two times telephoto. All right, dual cameras. And it's got seamless zoom with image, uh, with image fusion. The light's there, it's natural, there's no there's no distortion. It takes great pictures of food also at the same time. <laughs> All right. Depth of field. We've spent a lot of time making sure the camera's really, really great. I've been watching the leaks and uh, seeing the comments of the people when they heard that uh, maybe a Razer phone was coming. <laughs> they said, hey, it's the first $3,000 phone. What else? Will I need a loan because I've already contacted my bank? A $5,000 phone. Well, you guys know that when a new Razer product comes out, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so how much is it going to be? Well, is it going to cost a thousand dollars like the iPhone X? It's done. It's done. Is it going to cost? $850 like a Pixel 2? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the new Razer phone is going to be at $699. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you can go to the flagship phone with all those features. $699. And we'll be shipping it in the US and EU via RazorStore.com. You can reserve yours right away from now. Please listen to me first before whipping out your phones and reserving it. And we'll be shipping it on the 17th of November. All right? So, if you guys have ordered some other phone, it's a good time to have it. So, by some sheer miracle, we're here with Min Liang Tang, who, Tan even. Um, I was chilling out and these guys ambushed Yeah, we, so. we, we literally just saw, we saw him sitting there and we're like, we need to talk to you. So we're here with him. Happy to be you here. Just, you just announced the Razor phone, mm -hmm. which is quite undeniably a big deal. Mm -hmm. Not only for... Pretty freaking awesome, huh? Exactly. And it's a really difficult market to get into, mm -hmm. right? There are tons of Android phones. Sure. And Razer is a company that are known best for gaming and laptops specifically. Mm -hmm. And this is a complete departure from what you've done before. In, in, in some ex in sure. to some extent, so the acquisition of Nextbit was a bit was the moment for me where it flipped that you were focusing on the, or thinking of the phone. Sure. What were the what were the first moments? When was it first a we should make a phone? How long ago? How long has this been in work? Well, this has been in the works for at least uh, seven or eight years. I think we work on, on a very, on a pretty long time schedule for every single one of our products. So, you know, we've been acquiring teams, we're bringing in some of the best talent. Nextbit came in recently also at the same time. But pretty much, this has been a labor of love, you know, blood, sweat and tears for a long, long time. And as, as, as I mentioned, the, the Android marketplace is extremely crowded. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think is the one key thing? Because, you know, the... the <laughs> well, <laughs> there, was watch, there was watch, list and play. Sure. Well, but what is the one above all that really stands out to you? Well, that we designed this specifically for the 2.2 billion gamers out there. You know, we are, we're not a gaming company, we're a company for gamers. And what we do is that we really know what gamers want, and as you've seen, the response has been insane, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Thank you so All much right. for your Thank time. You. Appreciate Thank it. you so much. All right, take it easy, guys. Thank you. We are here with the Razer phone. This thing looks gorgeous. Even if it's slightly out of focus, there we go. So this phone has this beautiful display up front, which you won't quite see this because this is being filmed at 30 frames a second. Let me try and get that better. So you won't see this. The animations on this device, if I can find the right... Oh, it's from the... There we are. <laughs> you can tell I've had a lot of time with this device. The animations on this thing are gorgeous. You can't quite see it because it's being recorded at 30 frames a second, this video. However, I assure you that everything is silky smooth. It's got a fingerprint scanner on the side as part of a power button. On this side, it's got its two small volume up and volume down buttons. On the bottom, it's USB Type-C. And on the top, 
there's nothing. There isn't a headphone jack, unfortunately. However, it will come with a USB dongle. Hashtag dongle life. Outside of the animations, we have things like games. If we go into Gear Club, I'm not sure if this will work. Let's find out. It will. Oh god, it has... How does it play? I don't know how to play this game. Again, this is playing at Quad HD, up to 120 frames a second, thanks to the, the just... The, the amazing display in this, as manufactured by Sharp, of all people. Now, as I play this, you realize how hard it is to play. I'm actually watching the viewfinder as I play this, so I'm playing kind of in reverse. Uh, this device has a massive 4,000 milliamp hour battery, along with the Snapdragon 835, and is remarkably thin for all of that. It's about the width of, well, the fingerprint scanner, and it looks gorgeous. It's fully metal. It has, let's, let's get this properly. It has the Razer logo on the back, and it has a dual camera system, which looks really good. It has theming support, which means that this is currently the Arena of Valor theme. However, if we come out of this and go into the theme store, you get the all important, if I go into my library, we get the breadwinner theme for the Razer toaster. <laughs> This is the theme that matters most. If I come out here, you can see there is Razor Toast. And if I then log this, you'll see a separate photo, again, for, for all of your Razor Toast needs. All of the icons in this theme, as well as the background, are optimized. So if we take a look at this, you'll see all of the icons are actually bread-shaped. Going into the camera, it looks all right. If I take a look at it, if we go to zoom, it will automatically transition between the two lenses. Let's see if we can tell the moment. I'm not sure what exact moment. Can I? It's, I'm not, this is really interesting. Can we, you, you get all of that control, you go into settings, um, you get video and photo. There isn't a full manual here from what I can gather in my short time playing with this. However, there are some settings. Back video up to 4K, front video up to 1080p. And it looks decent. I can't tell. Um, oh, is that, is that? Nope, no idea when it transitions between two separate lenses. However, that is a thing it does thanks to the dual cameras on back right there. This phone costs a interestingly cheap 700 US dollars or 600 pounds for the time being if you pre-order it for a free UK. You can pre-order November 3rd, it'll go on sale November 17th, and it, it, it looks decent. This could be my next phone. It's a decent phone. It, well, it's better than decent. It's a flagship phone at a really good price. If you want to check it out, go to the Razer website, razorzone.co.uk or razorzone.com. And yeah, go do that. Again, Snapdragon 835, eight gigabytes of RAM, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and it looks great, it performs great, the animations are really smooth, and it's one of those things where it has to be seen to be believed, but I think you won't like this phone.